people it's a new DIY video and it's also corset time um, I've made a corset in the past with, that had like pearl details um, if you haven't seen that video you can find it in the playlist DIYs um, and recently it's just been all over my Pinterest and I just want to try again the first one was absolutely good but uh, I think you guys are gonna like this one even more so last night I decided to uh, go ahead and prep all of the pieces I'm gonna show you those in a second um, why is it that when you're gonna make something you only ever think about all the stitches that you're gonna make you never think about like all the prep work that actually goes in into um, cutting pieces and so on anyway um, I found this pattern, uh, a free pattern online. I will link the video where I found the pattern. Um, li did a little bit of like back and forth with test sewing. Um, the pattern that I found was too small for me um, and I wanted to make a few adjustments. So that's what I've done. But, um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with the way the pattern turned out. So um, without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, um, so I cut all the pieces. I uh, had my lining fabric and my outer fabric, and then I also added some um, that, uh, and now I can't remember the name of it, but you know, that, that type of fabric that stiffens up the fabric and has like glue on one side and not on the other. Um, so I cut my pattern three times. Um, and then I overlocked all of the pieces and um, also decided to prep my um, shoulder straps because the um, pattern that I found did not have shoulder straps and I really want that. Um, not as in the structure, but um, I like to make, I'd like to make it like a pea plum style uh, corset. So that is also what we're going to do. Let's move on and I'll show you the pieces and we'll go over how to assemble them. Um, we'll also do some boning today um, and finally we're gonna then cut the skirt or like the pea plum part to the corset and I'll show you how to do that as well. All right. hearing an iPad it's just this lovely little fella um, I've assembled both uh, front and lining and what I'm gonna do next is actually just uh, do a little bit of like prep work before we go to the straps to make sure that it just you know lays flat and smooth and nicely you also want a top yeah. should we maybe make you a t-shirt a top all right um, yes once we've uh, done that I'm gonna move ahead to the straps like I said and um, we're gonna attach them uh, while we sew um, the lining and the outer fabric together at the top
progressing. Um, I've just sewn the neckline or like the top top part of the uh, corset uh, all together. So this is where we are at. Added the um, the ties as, as well. Um, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm just gonna like very neatly top stitch all all above like all the way here so that it all looks super neat and then we are gonna move on to boning um i did have a chance to like try it on um and uh it seems it seems all right i'm just gonna have to figure out if i want the back to be like open or if i want to add like an additional um an additional panel here at the end so that's like going under uh, the strings when you're tying it um, but I'm gonna think about that and there's plenty of time because um, yeah top stitching and boning first all right um, I decided to pin uh, down along all the seams so I'm gonna sew like in the ditch of all the seams of the panels now and then uh, next to each of these seams I'm also gonna make a um, tunnel for my boning um, I saw a trick the other day that you can just um, use your presser so your ironing um, and and flatten the boning so I'm gonna try to do that but um, I'm sewing now all the all the panel seams um, and then I'm gonna measure out the boning a little bit shorter than down to the final seam as always and make like a little tunnel on each side for the boning. progress um, I really uh, really enjoyed putting in the boning I've learned that over a few times and this time it was just easier than I remember so great I guess <laughs> um, <laughs> you just saw me both test the corset on uh, Dolly Johannes can mommy just finish please can you just wait just one second Okay, um, and then what I've also done, what you also saw me do was actually drape. So what I want um, to go below the waist is like a bit of a poof, like a bit of a pea plum style corset. <laughs> um, I overlock these pieces and then I also put in a basting stitch to help me gather. I'll do pleats on the front and on the back and on the sides I'll just gather so that it's like really poofy and get that hip, hip action going. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna um, just gather and pleat now and pin everything to uh, the corset. Um, 
And then I'm also gonna leave a little space so I can sew these two pieces together in the middle, like on the front. And then after that, we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing with the backside. People, this is what we're working with right now. Um, still have to hem, obviously, um, all the way around, but we're gonna do that at the very end. Um, now it's time to figure out the back because when I put it on, like when I try it, I have about a centimeter and a half um, width here when pulled really tight. Um, so I'm going to cut a whole panel and then I'm going to attach that panel on the inside like I'm going to attach it probably like three centimeters in here um, because that's going to lay behind the lacing then um, and I'm also going to continue that panel downwards so that we just have that like flowy closure of the of the pea plum effect so panel and then attach uh, loops on both sides, put in the ribbon uh, and hem. Sounds easy, but I, I know we're not really, really at the finish line yet. <laughs> I actually tried it on and realized that I had to take it in a little bit more. I don't really know how that works. Uh, it's some sort of a sewing phenomenon that, you know, when you try on through the process and you're a little scared that it's going to be too small, once it's done it's too big. Is that a thing? Does that happen to everyone else? Anyway, I am super super happy with it. Um, really got to test out a lot of techniques and there are so many stitches in this one um, but I actually found it to be quite quite easy still um, largely thanks to my overlocker and thanks to previous experience so very happy I think this might be a summer party look right all right guys take care I'll see you uh, next Monday I've um, taken up a little bit of an interest in like embroidery with uh, pearls and beads so um, if you're curious about that definitely stay tuned have a fantastic week bye